Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. I know many of you have requested for me to create this dress. So today I will be showing you how to create strapless bodycon dress. I really hope you will enjoy this video and let's get started. create a pattern I'm using basic pattern for dress that's the bodice and the skirt you can find it on my channel the first step here is I'm going to move the incision and I'm going to count three centimeters from underneath the armpit at the side and then create the incision the incision is two centimeters thick moving on to the uh, bust line front I'm going to go ahead and measure five centimeters and create a straight line all the way to the underneath the armpit to connect it with the incision now the incisions that are at front I'm just going to take them away because I'm not, I don't want to have any seam and they are two centimeters so of course from the incision that is on the side I'm going to just follow the line to the hips and from the hips I'm gonna go uh, one centimeter going down to two centimeters I hope this is um, you will understand what I mean For the back I'm just going to add five centimeter because size has to match and I'm going to just connect it with a, a back line and of all decisions of course I'm gonna take them away and create the same side as I did on the front so minus two centimeter on the uh, waistline then to one centimeter on the hips and then going all the way one to two centimeters on the lower line And of course you will need two fronts and two backs. Remember that middle front is always double fold. Material I'm using tricot fabric and this is very thick tricot. I do prefer to buy one and a half meter of fabric. You will also need scissors, pins, a pattern, pen and measuring band and of course the matching thread. First step as always is to place the pattern on the fabric, measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out the pattern. Now you will need two front pieces and two back pieces. begin with the front piece because we have the incisions with the chest area so the first step will be to uh, mark the incisions and of course pin them and sew them Once the incisions are sewed on, it's time to place the back. So I'm just placing front and back piece one above the other and I'm gonna sew the sides. Do the same thing to the other side. So you will have like two dresses. Now that you have two pieces, you're just going to connect them with each other. So to create this nice edge, because when you flip it inside out the other dress, you will have nice edge where the chest are and also it will be one dress, but you will have the lining inside. As you can see, I just sewed it on and I'm just going to hold the seam and just place one dress inside the other. And we did this step just because I wanted to have a nice clean edge on the bust line. For the lower line, I'm just going to fold one centimeter for the sewing, so a straight line and I will do this step on the both lower line. And this is the finishing product. I really like that this dress is not see-through because it's very hard to find a white dress that it's not see-through and this one isn't. That's why I decided to do a lining. Also, I do prefer to go a little bit longer on the length just because I would like it to be underneath my knees and uh, the measurement is correct. The only thing is that this dress is very stretchy so it pulls up a little bit on the body. So I do prefer to buy two meters of fabric to have it right underneath the knees. I really hope you like this video and and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like always if you have any suggestions or what you would like me to create next please comment below see you till next time Hero.